What is up, guys? So I'm still back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today, uh, I'm basically just gonna give you the full review on this here onslaught, which is a uh, Mastermind Creations Aquaman Max PS14 Incarus. Normally, I start out with the box, but since I already did a box opening, I've already shown that. I will show you guys instructions and what everything comes with. So I figured I'd just jump right into the alt mode and start from there. But uh, just for fun, I'll take this off. This is actually where his uh, we'll take that. Actually, where his uh, weapon can be stored, which is always good storage. And I believe I said before that the gun itself is a nice sculpt. Uh, very bare bones plastic. Uh, a bit of detail, not too much, and no paint. But yet again, I believe uh, to refer back to what Kato said uh, from Kato's collection, I think this is what they're going for. They're going for that ultra maybe G1 look to it. So. It being basic is okay. You fold the handle out. That's for the combined mode. Fold this in, oh, fold this in, in. This is for the robot mode. And there's your normal little sliding pad that most MP robots have. You know, no fuss, no muss. And as you saw before, using this hole here, you can peg it in between these two cannons. If I can get that in there. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, me personally, I think it looks okay, but uh, I don't know. I kind of throw it out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. But you can store it there. As for the cannon itself, it can swivel. You can, you can get a full 360 out of it, which is really good. Not bad at all. And you can point it all the way up for some true anti tank, not anti tank, but anti aircraft fun. And these here can extend out for uh, the combined mode. And the very top here, put my thumb in there. There we go. There's a nod to the uh, original cartoon, which I don't remember as being on a bat. I thought it was on Brutus' head. But anyhow, these are supposed to be his three weak points from that one episode of the cartoon. So, you know, nice nod. No paint in there, by the way, but whatever. It's cool. As for paint, I believe these here cannons. I believe it's a silver paint. I could be wrong, but I think it's paint. Uh, the rest of the vehicle, as far as paint goes, you get these silver pigment rims. Uh, I think this is this colored plastic, actually. I don't think it's any paint. But the rims are all painted, and the windshield is a black translucent. And the hood of the vehicle does have like some black camo, which is nice. The grill, well, not the grill, but the Bumper, yeah, bumper does have silver paint, and the lights here looks to also be translucent plastic. Nice touch. I'm not sure, but I believe this is actually black paint here and silver paint here. So, all in all, it looks really good, and it rolls just fine, even on my surface. Now, as you saw, my box opening, uh, trying to get this button to come open, and my and you. Minimal force, I just pulled the whole damn thing apart. But Kato has shown that if you rotate somewhere in this area and somehow match this button, you can separate. I'm not gonna do that because I just, no. <laughs> but no, it can do it. All right, with, that, with the vehicle being said, I think it's really nice. And anyone who wants to keep things in alt mode, I can't blame you for this. Uh, let me grab some size comparisons and I'll do that. Here he is with uh, MP side swipe. So you get a feel how he looks with a standard car bot. He is with uh, Civil Warriors General Grant. Uh, I plan to get a review of him out at some time, I think. I'm still kind of messing with him. Pretty cool figure. Um, the reason I'm showing him instead of the proverbial MP10, to be brutally honest, I just don't want to transform MP10 anymore. I'm MP10 out, people. And as far as power base goes, forget about it. I see more. I see more long-winded and complex. So for right now, please accept this General Grant as a comparison. Although one is Cybertronian, one's Earth. Uh, I think as far as length goes, let's see. It's a okay. I think that works out just fine. Now, on the transformation. And here he is in robot mode. Um, he looks outstanding. Um, just phenomenal. Go buy it. Review over. Just kidding. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, he, he, he's awesome. He's very awesome. Um, where to start? Where to start? Like I said before, as far as paint apps go, uh, they are a bit sparse, but they're fine where they are. They, where they are, just, you know, no big deal. You get a little bit of uh, silver paint here. For the, I, I guess in the cartoon, it's supposed to be like the, the I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe headlights? I don't know. But uh, yeah, you get some little silver paint here, in here, and some here in the chest where the Bruticus chest folds out. Uh, a little bit on the mouth, translucent plastic over the eyes, which do have a light-up feature, but I sadly don't have any batteries, so I can't show you guys that. And a little bit of a, I think this is paint right here, right here in the knee, which I, which I do believe. And uh, using that peg, he can also hold his gun. Let's see if I can get in there. There we go. I close that. Oh, let's come out. So you see, he does hold that just fine. But for sake of view, let's go ahead and move it for a minute. As far as his hands go, they're really pretty good. Um, each finger is articulate. Each one's on the pin, and each segment can move individually of the other. The thumb, however, is on the ball joint, and it doesn't bend. But that's okay with me. And the hand will give you a full 360 rotation, which is also good. Let's come apart. Uh, also, um, as far as the bicep goes, is a uh, it's double hinge, so you can get. Well, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? But, well, you can go. You can bend it all the way up to here, which is really good. Also, you can rotate the bicep if you. Matter of fact, if you can, if you can hook this. If I can get the hook. Let's see. Let's untab this here. It gives you a little bit more range of motion. Wait a minute. You know what? I'm not gonna do that because honestly, that's the way it's designed. Also, it's for Brucus mode, and it's kind of fighting me at the moment, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But uh, what you basically have here in the bicep, you can go about that far and that far. And as for 360, let's see. Yes, you can get a full 360 outward movement. Do this. It has two hard ratchets in here. Get a good range out of that. And man, those are some good, good ratchets. Wait a minute. Uh oh. You guys hear it? That shit you was talking, bitch. I'm gonna play that shit. Bitch, I'm really from these streets. I'm really from these streets. I don't do all that any of that shit. Alright, back to where we were. <laughs> uh, both arms are exactly the same as far as mobility goes. Uh, only one thing kind of hinders them is this little piece right here, which you fold down during transformation. It kind of keeps them from going flush on the side as you can see due to the tire but I think it's okay as for the head let's, let's, let's go ahead and move the whole camera up here you do get a full 360 which is good you can look up that far and down just a bit not too much bring the camera back down you can rotate the waist Full 360, yeah, it's a good waist. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and that ratchet too is very strong. And uh, back here, you can actually get a ab crunch. If you ask politely, there we go. And honestly, it doesn't really even break the scope, which is really awesome. Let me put that down. You do get you do get a little bit of a divide here. I'm not sure if it's quite mine. I think Kato from Kato's Collection, his is kind of the same way, but mine might be because my waist actually actually came apart. Like I said before, be careful with that. It goes back on easy enough, but mine may not have enough glue or something. I'm not sure. I, I may look to get a replacement, but as of right now, I'm pretty much fine with it. I don't think it causes any more problems. Uh, as for the legs, you move the skirts up like so. You can kick up that high. They can ratchet back about that far. If you bend the knee, you can kick his own ass just perfectly if you're into that sort of thing. As for kick out, cut that far. And these ratchets are very powerful. So powerful. And you can bend here for combined mode, but that's a different story. 
And same on both sides. Pick out forward, pick out back, bend to knee, and so forth. Uh, as for the ankle itself, you do get tip uh, ankle pivot. You can go out like that. Breaks the scope, but you can get it. And same on both sides. But only but ankle, but only tilt going inward, which I think is I guess normal. All in all, you get basically every little bit of articulation that you could actually want out of a figure. Um, if I had one negative, and it's not, and it's not a negative. Uh, I think it's uh, results may vary. It's not even articulation. Uh, for me, I have a whole lot of uh, uh, not stress marks, but sprue marks. Like if I bend the knee here, if you, if it comes here on camera, not like right here, here, uh, here, and here. A lot of different places of the figure, even here, um, right in here. I feel like this could have been shaved a little cleaner. And I have them all different areas. It's too, too many to point out, but they're all, the figure has them all, all around. Like I said for that's more of a QC. Results may vary. Doesn't take away from the figure because the figure is still awesome. I got. I, have, I don't have too many complaints on this figure. It's, um, it may be as good as Swindle, if not better. And speaking of Swindle in the game, let's get some size comparisons, shall we? And this is how he looks with his uh, Combaticon Brethren. And I think he looks really good. Um, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be quite that big. But overall, it looks good. You'll get no complaints out of me. And here is how he scales with MP10. Uh, I think the scale's fine. Some people complain that he is taller than Optimus Prime. But I'm personally okay with it. I mean, think about it. Austin's Prime transformed into a uh, Mac truck. He transformed. He trans. Uh, Onslaught transformed into a um, uh, armored vehicle with anti-aircraft uh, weaponry on his back. I think personally, he would be bigger than Prime. But that's just me. Scales and eye beholder. Blah blah blah. But for me, this is awesome. I have no complaints at all. With that being said, let's go ahead and move on to his. Ludicrous mode. And here's that combined mode, and I must say it looks rather good. It has a mixture of uh, some G1 elements. <clears throat> uh, the original G1 toy. You had to take the front of the cab, fold the arms in, and come down the side, which just does a pretty good, really, this is a really good homage to that. And you get the tune color. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the fly part. There we go. You got the, <clears throat> the tune color chest. Which is reminiscent of Blast Off's wing disconnecting and coming to the chest plate. Um, I'm more in line with the more, I guess, toy and or IDW aesthetic. So I'm probably going to be swapping this out for the silver one when I get the upgrade kit. Uh, as for the head, it is uh, essentially Onslaught's head. You pull this back and open the mask up. Put the camera apart. Ah, there we go. You can see this is actually Onslaught's head underneath. It's too bad I don't have the light up eyes. Well, with batteries, because honestly, this would probably look very epic under all this. And I believe you can still spin it. Yep, it's all the same head joint. You can get a full three. No, you do not. No, you do not. You don't get a full 360. But that's good enough. This is more or less like a natural head turn. All on that side, you get almost 360. Uh, almost 360. Strange. Oh well. But it looks really, really good. Also, the cannons do extend up, so you can bend them for some firing action if you want to, which is nice. And, bring the camera back down. You still get that ab crunch I mentioned before. You just, uh, oops, just kind of, there we go. So you're still fully getting that, which is really, really nice. Not much to speak on for articulation because there's no box attached. I do have Swindle, but I'm going to wait until I actually have the full the full deal before I do it. Although, I won't lie to you guys, it's very hard not to, it's very hard not to transform Vortex into the arm and shove him in there. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait. But yeah, this is, the, this, is the, this is the combined mode torso. You get a little bit of a, a little bit of waist turn right here. Uh, in directions, they want you to, to refasten this. But... Um, honestly, if you do that, you lose you lose more you lose more waste. So I, I don't think you should do that. So I still have use of that. That's just from my opinion. But well, my instruction, you do fasten that waist down. 
But yeah, post that back in. I think overall it looks really good. Um, ah, crap. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> Alright. Let me put the camera back up here again. Um, <clears throat> as far as paint apps go, it gets a nice silver head. Everything's good. Translucent plastic for the visor. The chest is painted uh, purple, brown, and black. And the crotch is a nice silver. These two do move. In case anyone's wondering, you can get them out of the way. I guess with leg articulation, let me fasten this down. There you go. With leg articulation, I guess you can still move that part and it gets bends at the knee here. And you still have a function of this knee. Although now it's not really a knee anymore. But you still have it. Uh, just going by the size of this torso. I think it's gonna be a really good, a really big, I mean really big combiner. Not Zeta big, but but overall big enough in my opinion. Alright, now with all that being said, let's move on to the to fall back in the legs. Let's move on to the uh, final thought, shall we? For that final thought, and if you couldn't tell, I just love him in a pointing pose. I don't know why. I feel like as a leader, they're more or less saying, hey, go kill these guys. You know, whatever. But uh yeah, I think this guy is awesome. Uh, like I said, for QC may vary. Uh, mine have the sprue marks and you know, the whole thing with the waist. Although I shoved them back together, it still makes me feel a little uncomfortable. At, a little uncomfortable that that happened so easily. But either still, this is a good ass figure. Fully recommend. And I know I've said it before about Swindle probably being part of my top ten. <sighs> Onslaught probably will be too. Jeez. At this point, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make a habit of saying what top 10 is gonna be for this year. But this damn thing is just that awesome. And um, believe me, my video is not really doing it justice. Similar to what Kato said with his, this figure needs to be experienced in hand. You need to get a hold of it and manipulate it and mess with it. it it's awesome. It really is. So you get a full recommend from me. Also, before I leave, if you haven't, if you have not checked out the rest of the Vegetacons, please do. I have a link in the bottom. Uh, for all the channels, check them out. If you're not, you're missing out completely. But, I'm uh, taking up enough of your time, so I better get out of here. This has been Soto Noonspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. I hate doing God's work reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out.